Hello people there, this is the Blue Revolution, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the 1.95 dev server. It's 5 in the morning, I haven't slept and the dev server's opened, which means I'm not getting any sleep uh, this evening or tonight. But never mind, because the dev server's opened and we've got to see what there is. I'm so excited for this patch, it's probably the most excited I've been for an update since probably the Super Sonic patch, which was what, that was last Christmas, the whole year. So I'm really looking forward to see what there is in this uh, update. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at just the Swedish, uh, looking at the Swedish aircraft as well as uh, the Swedish tanks um, as well. I'm just going through the tech tree, uh, have a little bit of a uh, play, some test drives maybe of uh, some of the aircraft and definitely the S tank, which is probably the most exciting vehicle, I think, uh, with this update. So let's uh, get started. We'll start off with, uh, actually, let's start off with, uh, with, the, start off with the tanks, I think, because why the fuck not? So this is the SAV-20, it has a battery rating of uh, 3.7, really interesting low tier premium, this one. 120 millimeter cannon with a 1.2 second reload. This is pretty goddamn insane looking machine. Really derpy looking. That is actually pretty, that's a pretty good penning shell for 3.7. I would definitely take that on a, on a tank with a 1.2 second reload. It has smoke launches as well, that's really nice. What's the HE? 2.25 kilograms. 28 mils of penetration, not too bad. Think I'd rather use the APC BC shell though, if it was me personally. Let's have a look at the X-ray with this. Okay, so it's got a uh, six-round autoloader. Looks of things uh, with this. What's that? This up here, ammunition. What are they for? That's a uh, that's a uh, really weird. What what why is that there? That that can't be the right ammunition type, surely. Or maybe it's for, I don't know. That's really strange. These are definitely the, the 120 mils. So what the fuck is this ammo here? It doesn't have uh, any machine gun on it either. That's really strange. It must be a bug with uh, the dev server. Let's uh, take this out for uh, a test drive. Okay. We are on the test drive with this. It's pretty nimble. It's not too slow at all. It's got a really nice traverse on that gun actually for... Uh, Tank destroyer, that's not too bad at all. That reload is ridiculous. Let's see how it fares on against this. Oh, yeah, it's gonna get through that. Um, it's about a T34. There's also in this update, I'm not sure if you've seen there, spark animations now for destroyed tanks. That's uh, pretty cool. Not the best on my uh, graphics card, I'm not on my normal PC today. So we get to the side of this T-34. I think we're going to struggle to get through the front. It definitely gets up to speed, like 36 kilometers an hour. She is not a slow beast by any means. Obviously this thing has like no armor, it's going to, especially with a free man crew, if this gets hit, it's, it's going to die quick. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's a... What is the explosive mass on the, that shell? I need to go back to and uh, check that. 890 grams. Oh my god. It's If it's going to go through, that's going to cause major, major damage. Going to give people a bad, bad time. This is really nice low tier premium. I think it's going to be really nice. I might get this actually. I haven't actually brought uh, this premium yet, but we're definitely going to have to look at this, I think, uh, on uh, the live server. Let's move on to uh, the main event, I must admit, for uh, this update. I'm so looking forward to this tank. This is the S tank, or the, oh, what's it called? The, the Stratzwagen uh, 103. This is a really weird tank design. Just, just look at that. This is a main battle tank. It's not actually a tank destroyer. Really strange design, but in a hull down, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so it's 40 mils on the bottom, and it's 40 mils on the top, and 40 mils here. But look at the protection. If we go to what we're going to have firing at, there's probably German. What's at the same battery rating as at this? Um, maybe a, a Tiger 2. There you go, that'll do. Firing. 
That's a, uh, so yeah, lower plate, yeah, it's going to go through, but, it's going to go through there, but, oh god, it's in a hole down, this is, it's just a, everything's just going to ricochet off of it. Seems a bit of a weakness just there. Oh, but the engine's going to absorb it all. That's, this tank from the front is going to be really survivable. I think if, even if it goes for the lower plate, I think the engine's going to, yeah, it's really not going to do much damage. That's, this is going to be a really survivable tank uh, from the front. In terms of battery rating, uh, 7.3 battery rating um, on this. It has a really weird suspension system on this as well. Because it is uh, turretless, it uses hydraulics to move itself up and down. From what they showed on uh, the stream with this, it looks like it's going to be very similar uh, in style of gameplay to the, the V2 1 2. Uh, let's have a look at modifications to this so no smoke shells on this does have mvds that's quite nice uh, shell types discard and saber freedoms and females of penetration that's really good for 7.3 i would definitely take that hair shell this is this is basically the same loadout as a uh, british and l7 105 it's practically the same kind of i think it's a domestically produced version um, of it hmm not sure why you take this shell over the a high penning one just have a little bit more projectile mass but you're just going to want up the extra uh, penetration this also has a four second reload on this tank which is pretty bonkers and because the ammo storage is like this it's not say like the lorraine 40t with like the six round loader this is going to be four rounds continuously it's going to be absolutely bonkers with this thing let's have a uh, Let's have a test drive of this. We've got, we've got to take her out. We've got to see what she's actually like. This tank in a hold down position with bushes on it is just going to be sweaty as fuck. It really, really is. Oh, she is gorgeous. Okay, so it's got the whole aiming by default on this. She's it. The whole. Okay. She's quite slow with the turning. But not that slow, I don't think. Okay, on the move, this tank is, is going to be a no-go. Okay, so it's a little bit finicky with the aiming for it. Yeah, it's a bit... Hopefully they'll refine that. It's a little bit bouncy. It's not It's not fine-tuned. God, it's, ju yeah, it's jumping everywhere. <laughs> hopefully they'll... Uh, Improve that somewhat. Let's. Yeah. Oh, I'm firing the hair shell here. Why am I firing the hair shell? That's such a quick reload, but it is discarding Sabo, which is like the worst of the shell type in the game. This is, this is going to be a really nice tank. I mean, we put a... Hold out. Just look at that. I can't really show it on the test drive. We could take her out into a... Uh, an actual custom game. Oh, that's good. But this with bushes on is just going to be sweaty as fuck. You're not going to be able to see it at all. And I can't wait to play this on the live server. This is going to be a really nice tank. I believe. <laughs> Just look at this thing. Uh, what a weird tank design. I love it though. I love it that it's unique and different. Okay, so moving on to the aircraft now. I think with some of these, with the low tier ones, probably uh, not going to take out those for test drivers because you could probably um, do yourself. But we'll look at them. Okay, so this is the, the J8A. Let's uh, look at the customization for this. This is the, the reserve plane. 8mm, so a little bit larger than some of the uh, low tier caliber guns. Where are the. Okay, so the guns are actually mounted in the, the wings in this. And, and in the fuselage as well. That's going to be a kind of interesting. It's going to just be a bulk standard low tier biplane, I think. What's the difference between this and the B version? This one only has two. Okay. Interesting.
Yeah, this one's only got the two mounted in it, the fuselage of this. 324 kilometers an hour. It's going to be a distillery tier biplane, pretty much like um, all the others. This is the, the B3C. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, low tier bomber. Looks uh, quite nice, actually. Three 8mm turrets. Bombers are low tier, are normally pretty good in this. That's like quite a good armor, actually, for uh, low tier. Let's have a look at X ray. Okay, so it's got. A few crew members there. Oh no, I didn't want to test fire. <laughs> Let's have a look at the modifications. What bomb load does it have? 50 kilogram bombs. Oh, I can carry a torpedo. 120 kilogram bombs. That's a weird bomb size, but for 1.3, that's that's not too shabby at all. I would admit. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, this is the J17. Oh, this one has a 12.7. Millimeter machine guns. It has two of those. Nice looking biplane, actually. Very nice looking. Uh, battery to 1.3, so the same as... Uh, is it the same as that one? Oh no, this was a... That was a reserve as well. Slightly higher battery rating than the reserve aircraft, but it's got 12.7, so the machine guns will work really nicely on this. 430... Uh, 413 kilometers an hour, so it's going to be very similar in speed to... Uh, let's actually test flight this, uh, to um, the reserve aircraft. It's a really nice looking biplane. Really long looking biplane, actually. It's a really long plane. Oh, the... Okay, so the landing gear doesn't go up in this. Wow, this this is a really heavy plane. Get up to speed. Yeah, she feels really heavy. Oh my god, this is really slow turning for a biplane. Really slow. Let's see what her top speed's like. Yeah, she's getting up to about 330 kilometers an hour. She's she's definitely a heavy biplane though. Let's uh, see how the machine guns get on. Okay. Lots of ammo ready for those 12.7s. Uh, so I think this is going to be quite a nice biplane in terms of the guns, but the handling is, is not particularly great for a biplane. You want to turn, you want a good turn on a biplane, and this this biplane definitely does not have that. Okay, moving on to uh, the rank twos now. Uh, this is uh, the J22A. So a preview of this. Uh, battery to 2.0. Quite a nice uh, speed. For a, a 2.0 plane, a 13.2 millimeter machine guns. It's got two of those, and it's got the 8 millimeter machine guns um, as well. All of these are mounted in the wing. None mounted in at the fuselage. Of this. It's very wildcat looking, especially the undercarriage design on this. Very nice looking plane. Unfortunately, I can't test fire this. Unfortunately, which is the same. Uh, this is the B17. The, the, the dev block. On this, we can actually test fire this. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's a really weird design. Odd looking plane. Quite a nice looking plane, though. Uh, let's have a look at modifications with the what bomb it's going to carry. 50 kilogram bombs, 120. A uh, mixture of the both. And a 500 kilogram bomb. That's going to be quite nice with 2.3. Definitely going to be good in a realistic I think not much in terms of uh, offensive and defensive armor so I guess it's got a couple of machine guns yeah two machine guns mounted in the wings it's gonna be quite easy easier to kill I think uh, moving on this is the B18A it's uh, another bomber okay it looks very similar to a, uh, a JU in terms of uh, design, quite interesting cockpit, it's offset look. What the heck's going on here? Why, 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 is, why, is, why is the gunner... Why is the gunner like that? that that's scaring me. What, what, why is the machine gun like massive as well? That's uh, <laughs> very unusual. That must be a bug with uh, the dev server. 
It's kind of strange, but there we go. Okay. So we've got two defensive armors. No forward firing guns on this by the, the looks of things. Oh no. I tell a lie. It does have a forward firing. Does it have a forward firing? It says it's got a forward firing machine gun. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Look. One machine gun. Uh, forward. Not going to be much use, uh, to be honest. Uh, let's have a look at the the bombs they can carry. So 50 kilogram bombs again, 120 kilogram bombs, two 500 kilograms. Oh, that's quite a nice bomb load. I'll probably take this one with the two 500 kilograms and the 50 kilogram bombs. 2.7 uh, battery rating on this, uh, incidentally. I think the bombs are actually carried on the, the wing routes with this, which is kind of a, an interesting design choice. I think this would be quite a nice bomber to use in a ground realistic as well anyway moving on to the rank 3 ones now this is the j22b so i expect this to be very similar in design to the other one okay so this one's got the four 13.2 millimeter machine guns but it does have a, a higher battery rating i think it has the same speed 500 yeah it's practically the same aircraft i think it's just gonna have yeah, it's just going to have the better uh, armament, which uh, hence why it has the higher uh, battle rating on, on it. Uh, okay, J18B, this is going to be a very similar one to that other bomb we were just looking at. This one has a higher battery, 3.3. Same defensive armament, same forward firing armament as well. Let's have a look at the bomb mode, but this is going to be... Okay, oh, okay. This one carry 600 kilogram bombs. That's it. This is weird bomb sizes for the, the Swedes to do. It's kind of interesting. So this can carry a combination. This is going to be a really nice ground attacker in um, ground realistic. That's some really nice bomb loads. This is going to be a nice aircraft to use in a ground realistic. It's definitely going to be. Um, Moving on now to a 4.0. Now, this one is basically a P-51 Mustang. Battery rating 4.0 is very low, though, for this type of aircraft. I expect this will probably increase in battery rating. Surely it's got to. It's probably going to be a 4.7. At least, oh, okay, so it's got a uh, Packard. 1,373 1, horsepower on this. Can we test flight this? We can. Let's... Uh, Oh no, I've taken full fuel load. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, this one's going to be pretty much a box standard P-51. I think. Let's see if we can get her up. Gear up. Oh, we need to do a video on the P-51 at some point. Really gorgeous plane. Don't really play it that often. Does this have uh, browning machine guns in it, or are they uh, domestically produced? Okay, moving on to the, the rank 5s now. There's a massive jump here in terms of bat rating from the 4.0 uh, P51 to 8.3 and 7.7. .7. Absolutely crazy, the jump in bat rating. It's even worse than the Chinese. I think with the Chinese, it is a jump. Of, uh, yeah, 4.7, so absolutely bonkers uh, that there's this massive jump here. There's a lot of versions of these uh, J29s uh, we now have. Uh, these ones are armed with 20 mm cannons, which has four of these. A lot of ammunition, 720 rounds, which is really nice. Preferably, I think it would actually rather fly this variant compared to the 8.7 30 mm one. The 20 mm are normally a little bit more uh, reliable, a little bit more easier to aim. I think this is going to be very similar, though, uh, to... The J29 date. No G suit, just like the other one. Okay, so it's got three uh, belt types. I wonder which one's going to be the best with these. They are the domestically produced uh, 20 mm cannons on this. Unfortunately, I can't test fire this one or any of the, these uh, top tiers. I can test fire this one though. Uh, we'll take that one out in just a second. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is a uh, basically a vampire. Domestically produced cannons once again. They're probably just going to be Hispanos. Hopefully they work better than the Hispanos though, which are absolutely awful, awful 20 mils. 
So that's uh, modifications. Okay, so there's no ground ordinance with this vampire. That's a little bit of a shame. Would have liked it to be able to carry bombs and rockets for a bit of a top tier uh, fun. Okay, so this one has a better engine on the J29F, it seems. This one can go over 1,000 kilometers an hour compared to the 900, I think it was, on a, the A variant. Same mail to cannons, uh, same rounds for those cannons as well. Everyone likes the Chungus. Does this one have a G suit or one? No, it does not. Oh, it can carry missiles, though. Okay, air to air missiles. Infrared, uh, aspect. 900 meters a second, nice G uh, tolerance. What if the stack card for that's going to be correct or if it's actually lying? We'll have to see if we can find out. Uh, nice exposure mass, a little bit lower compared to some of the others, but it's going to do the job uh, nonetheless. I think if it hits uh, enemy targets with those air to air missiles. Uh, let's have a look at the this variant now. So this one's armed with the 20 mils as well, 720 rounds slower in terms of max speed compared to the what's it the b variant sorry i know i'm chipping to change it no sorry f f variant but i think this one is the ground attack version of it yes it is this one can carry rockets that's a lot of explosive mass with a nice pen as well that's a lot of pen okay this one's definitely going to be yeah this one this one here is definitely going to be the go-to rocket i think uh, in terms of uh, ground attack, and we can actually test fly this. Oh, actually, no G suit again. No G suit on this. It's going to be quite. It's the main problem I had with the premium variant is there was no G suit on it. And trying to turn fight with with it was absolutely horrendous. Okay, let's see how the, the Chungus gets on. She's pretty slow on the acceleration. Oh my god, this this plane's gonna be really slow. Really slow accelerating. Come on, Chungus, you can do it. There we go. Now oh, she's up. She is she's a big heavy girl. But we love her all the same. It's a Let's fire the 20 mils. Okay. Hopefully they're better than the Spanos. They seem quite nice. She is really slow on the acceleration. Especially for an 8.7 jet. I think the main use for this aircraft though is going to be in ground forces. How does she turn at speed? She turns okay, but she bleeds a lot of speed as well. These Chunguses are interesting planes. She's okay once she gets up to speed. I think I'm definitely going to prefer the 20 mil variant compared to the 30 mil. Very nice. Okay, moving on to the top tier jet uh, in uh, this update. This is the J32B. It has a 9.0 battery rating uh, on the dev server. Uh, very nice uh, top speed. It's a subsonic jet, 1,133 uh, kilometers an hour. Really interesting design. Look, it's like a, a F-80 in terms of the fuselage, and then a Swift with the wings and the, the rear of uh, the fuselage. Kind of a nice uh, looking plane, uh, I must admit. Uh, 30 mm cannons on this, it has four of those, only 360 rounds, which is a, a little bit on the, the low side, but hopefully uh, they'll probably still work just as nicely as uh, the other 30 mils we have uh, in game. Let's have a look at the modifications and uh, see what she can carry in terms of ones. Okay, so she can carry, she can carry four of those air-to-air -air missiles, which is uh, quite nice, and she can carry rockets as well. Not the best rockets, though. Quite a nice TNT equivalent, but that penetration of only 30 millimeters, unless you get the top of somebody, not really going to do uh, that much of a damage. Definitely going to be more of a 
uh, a fighter, I think, of this one uh, are going to be. Unfortunately, there's no Draken, no Vigan uh, in this update. This is the, the top tier um, aircraft for Sweden. But they have confirmed that they will be coming in a later update. And I'm fine with that. To be honest, it's going to take us quite a while uh, to grind down uh, to the top tier jets. Um, anyway, so I'm going to have absolutely uh, no problem with that. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave this video here now. Uh, just a quick preview of all the new Swedish tanks and aircraft that are coming uh, on the tech tree um, in this update. There could be some more, which I haven't been uh, added yet, but these are the ones uh, on the dev server. In the next video, I'll be doing uh, later today or maybe tomorrow we'll have a look at all the other nations and all the things that are there uh, are being added in with uh, this update uh, please like comment share all that good stuff and i'll catch you all in the next one sometime soon bye